The 4262 instrument is very useful for measuring the frequency response of any audio devices. This is because the instrument has an internal function generator which can sweep sine waves from DC up to 20 kilohertz and hence very easily measure the frequency response of any audio device. So here we can see the signal that has been applied to an amplifier and here we are monitoring the output of the amplifier. All the controls of the amplifier at the moment have been set to flat. So here's the generator, so we can look at the generator. So here we've got the sweep mode, so if I just disable that for a moment. So here's the start frequency, so we're just generating now a 10 hertz signal. And now I can activate also the sweep, so we're going to sweep up and down, and we're going to sweep up to a frequency of 20 kilohertz. So now we can see the output of the amplifier being monitored, um, and it's sweeping up and down the frequency range. I can now adjust the uh, treble control to a max lift on the amplifier and we can see that the uh, high frequency response of the output now has been boosted. We can make a, a more accurate measurement of this using the uh, spectrum mode which will give us a uh, amplitude against frequency plot. So here we can now see the uh, sweeping frequency and we can almost just visually see now that the amplitude is increasing as it goes up in frequency but further we can actually change the settings to actually hold the max value and I'll apply that so now we get a, a very clear visual indication of the uh, frequency response of the device under test further options here we can change the uh, number of spectrum bins so this is the number of points across the screen and here we can change the uh, the window function and these have different features for different applications for this particular one the uh, flat top is the best choice as it gives the most accurate response the uh, vertical display has been set to log so this is dbs and now we can measure directly the uh, the gain with cursors so now i can uh, bring on a pair of cursors so I can measure the max lift and the response at uh, DC. So now here we can see delta cursors, the max uh, lift is in fact 10 dBs.